Okay, I'm finally ready to say I'm sorry for that one summer when I watched American Pie 2 twice a week. That really happened. It's a good sequel, I think. <laughs> and listen to all nine minutes of Constantine on the way to every party with the sun still out in a car thick with sober voices spilling out of the windows and making another mess all over the sidewalks. I guess this is what it looks like when youth is writhing on its deathbed, but the boys who claim it are still very much alive and blooming, and being split in half by a beam of moonlight stumbling in through a window and falling all over the sheets in a bed that is not ours. In the heat of that summer, I escaped the parties on Friday nights to find the near silent bedroom of a girl who I pretended to stop talking to when my friend said, we are college guys now, but who I used to shoot hoops with in the backyard, and who I skipped out on prom, on prom to go record shopping with last spring, and that summer, we would sit on her floor and let the Supremes record play all the way through twice and tell each other stories about how our college roommates snored all year and how we didn't sleep like we used to under this city's moon and how we never got used to eating alone and how we instead got used to hunger and how small we've become due to all of these things and then we would lay with each other without ever touching and I didn't know how to talk about distance out loud and in the mornings over breakfast with the guys when Jeff would yell how was it last night across the table and I knew what it carried even then and I still smiled into a brown tornado of coffee until the plates rattled with fist pounding and laughter and high fives and isn't it funny how silence can undress two bodies and press them into each other? And when I say funny, I mean the feeling that stretches itself out in your stomach while you watch someone cry into their palms and turn their face to the night before they walk away from you for what you know is the last time before there is a new sharp and boundless city between the both of you forever. And when fall came, boys sat up in their beds alone, gasping while their hearts rattled out the ghosts of every unspoken love that dragged them there. And then a whole country crawled itself across an ocean and went to war. <laughs> 